Hi, I'm Rory from Sandy Point Chinery, and I'm going to be talking through how to do a taper splice, which can be seen here, where the rope starts thick and gets thinner. So perfect for lightweight situations, uh, lightweight light wind situations, and um, yeah, to work better and smoother through block, blocks and pulleys as well. Let's take a look. This is where I'm going to pull the inner core out of the rope. First I'm going to tie a stopper knot just a little bit further back here. I'm going to squish the rope up a little bit and proceed to pull two strands aside. I need my nail all the way through. Next part I'm going to do a little lock. So I'm going to need two different size fids. I've got a smaller and a bigger one. First of all I'm going to use the bigger fid. I'm going to get this now hollow and pass it through the dynamo. So, my smaller fid and poke the dynamo through the outer jacket. And that's the lock done now. Here we go. Um, so these are a uh, spinnaker sheet for an RS400. Uh, cut the rope, sort of 25 centimetres long. I need to taper a few strands out by pulling some uh, carefully out of, out of uh, the rope, just to make it gradually a little bit smaller. I find this technique works quite well with the fusion um, because it's quite hard to pull the full thickness of the jacket through the dining room. I'm trying to keep the rope in one piece down the end here. A bit now. I'm going to use my lovely rooster scissors. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to need to do is to line the rope up, work out how far I need to go down. I mean, it's going to need to go a little bit further because it's going to shrink a bit. So I'm going to open up the rope here and use my pull thread now to insert into the dynamo and then just put it all the way down. Until we get to the uh, entrance of the splice here, it's here. And then just carefully poke it out as close as we can, trying to split a dynema strand. Just a little bit. And I'm going to pull my fid and give it a little twist on the way. Now I can give the rope a nice pull from here. And it'll just pull. Then I can look at sweating it back. And as it sweats back, you'll see that the tail of the rope gets pulled in and it's just left out a little bit. At this point, I'm going to make sure that I cut the rope here so that when I sweat it back, it's going to go in. And then to complete the taper, I'm going to just open up a few of the ends here or soften it up. I might use my fid to help me away along the way. Um, and then open all that up at this juncture. I can use my rooster scissors and carefully look to snip away at a nice angled edge. Gradually gets thinner and thinner. So now when I sweat this back in, I'm just going to pull this rope back in and in goes the tail and there you can see sports fans a nice tapered rope ready to go and win some races. So here at Sandy Point Chandlery I often um, do emergency splices for people and, and splices um, made for people's boats specifically so if you'd like me to do a splice uh, please do get in touch, uh, let me know lengths and, and measurements. Uh, of course we sell all the rope here as well, so if there's any advice you'd like to know about any, any of the rope uh, for different applications, again, uh, please do get in contact.